In this question, we want to find stiffness at A and carry over factor from A to B using column analogy method. The first step in column analogy method is to draw analogous column. Analogous column is a short column with width of cross section equals to length of the beam that is 6 meters and because I is varying along the length of the beam the breadth of the analogous column cross section will vary so the breadth for first 2 meter width of analogous column cross section will be 1 upon 1.5 EI that will be equals to 4 by 3 EI for next 2 meter width it will be 1 upon EI and for the last 2 meter width it will be 1 upon 2 E I so my analogous column cross section will look like this will be 4 upon 3 E I this will be 1 upon E I this breadth will be 1 upon 2 E I and the width of each segment will be 2 meters this is edge A and this is edge B. This is cross section of analogous column. The side view will be this is side view. This is width that is total 6 meters. This is point A. This is point B. And the height of this analogous column is short height. On this analogous column, I will apply a unit downward force at A corresponding to unit rotation at end A of our beam and the pressure at the base of the analogous column can be written as P equals to F by A plus minus M dash by I dash into X. F is total downward force acting on analogous column. So here F is equals to one unit. A is area of cross section of analogous column that will be equals to sum of areas of all three rectangles that will be 2 into 4 by 3 EI that is area of first rectangular part plus 2 into 1 upon EI plus 2 into 1 upon 2 EI here you cancel this 2 with this 2 and if I add all these terms I get equals to 13 by 3 EI because the breadth of cross section is not constant I will have to find the location of centroid of this cross section for that I will need x bar that will be equals to sigma xi ai divided by sigma ai the centroid of first rectangle will be midpoint of that for the second also midpoint of that and for third also midpoint of that this distance will be 1 meter this distance will be 3 meters and this distance will be 5 meters so my x bar will be 1 into 4 by 3 ei plus 3 into 2 by ei plus 5 into 1 by ei divided by sigma ai that is 13 by 3 EI so that will be equals to 37 by 13 meters so the centroid of column cross section will be somewhere here and this will be the centroidal axis that point and side view will be here so I need to find M dash about this point and I dash about this axis and this distance is 37 by 13 meters m dash will be force into liver arm and the liver arm will be this distance that is 37 by 13 meters so m dash will be 1 into 37 by 13 that is equals to 37 by 13 units i dash will be about the centroidal axis and for that we will divide the cross section into three rectangles so for first rectangle it will be width into depth cube by 12 
that is 4 upon 3 ei into 2 cube by 12 plus area of the rectangle that is 8 upon 3 ei into the distance between 2 axis squared that will be this distance and that is 37 by 13 minus 1 squared plus for second rectangle it will be about this axis and that will be width to depth cube by 12 so that is 1 upon ei into 2 cube by 12 plus its area that is 2 upon ei into this distance square and that distance will be 3 that is this distance minus this distance squared so that is 3 minus 37 by 13 squared plus for third rectangle about this axis will be width into depth cube by 12 so that is 1 upon 2 ei into 2 cube by 12 plus area of that it is 1 upon ei into this distance squared that will be 5 minus 37 by 13 squared and this if i simplify i will get 10.68 divided by ei next xa is the distance of edge a from the centroidal axis that will be this distance so xa is 37 by 13 meters and xb will be distance of edge b from the centroidal axis and that will be this distance and that will be 6 minus 37 by 13 and that will be equals to 41 by 13 meters so xb is 41 by 13 meters now we can find the pressures and note that this moment m dash is in anti-clockwise sense for pa i will have plus sign so pa will be equals to f by a plus m dash upon i dash x a that will be equals to f is 1 unit 1 divided by a is 13 by 3 ei plus m dash is 37 by 13 units divided by i dash is 10.68 by ei into x a is 37 by 13 meters and this simplifies to give me 0 0.989 ei similarly i can find pb equals to f upon a and because m dash is anti-clockwise i'll have minus sign for pb m dash upon i dash into xb so that will be equals to 1 divided by 13 by 3 ei minus 37 by 13 divided by 10.68 by ei into x b is 41 by 30 so and this simplifies to give me minus 0 0.610 ei so pa is equals to ka so my ka will be 0 0.989 ei and my carryover factor from a to b will be minus pb upon pa that will be equals to minus pb is minus 0 0.610 ei minus 0 0.610 ei divided by pa is 0 0.989 ei here this minus minus will become plus this ei will cancel this ei and my answer will be 0 0.617